Hey, what's up, guys? Apple iOS here. Today, I'm back with great news. iOS 11.1.2 jailbreak has been released by Daniel. He is 17 year old developer. It also has CD IPA, but it's unstable and pretty unfunctionable. You can't even install CD tweaks. It may break your device, and you will be forced to update to the latest iOS version, which doesn't have possibility to get the jailbreak till the March of 2018. Well aside, developers are getting too closer to make a chill break. Recently George has got the patch of AMFI, April Mobile File Integrity. It is also a piece of code which can be used to make the jailbreak. However, the jailbreak for iOS 11.1.2 is in its progress. Well, it's almost done. The developers are waiting for the Sorik to update the CDA substrate. And it has been confirmed by Sorik that he is working on iOS 11 CDA substrate. Hours ago, he posted on Reddit, I never made millions and I currently lost a lot of money each month on CDA. I now have a day job where I spend a bunch of my earnings to pay for it, which I then have to balance with CDA work. I'm working on the iOS 11 updates even so, because despite people like you always trying to dispel people from thanking me for my efforts, I have managed to maintain my passion for the concept of jailbreaking as I truly believe in the concept. So guys, you think should not you donate money the person who has made this idea who got such great concept in mind who made many iPhone users happy. I don't know about others but in my opinion he is the only reason why most of the people are buying iPhones including me. All I mean if you are in such condition to donate money someone for the great job then it is sorry. Anyways guys let's take a turn to 32 bit jailbreak. I also have a great news for the guys who owns the 32 bit devices has also a possibility to get the iOS 10.3.3 jailbreak in this month, maybe on 25th December because of Christmas Day. Perhaps you guys may know, in recent days Seuza has released Vortex Exploits which was only supported to 64-bit devices. But after a few days, Teamster, the guy who released iOS 8.4.1 and 9.3.5 jailbreak in past, has ported Vortex exploits to support 32-bit devices. On 16th December, he tweeted the photo the CDR running on iPhone 5. Actually, it is a jailbreak demo of 10.3.3. For your kind information, this jailbreak is still under development. It may take at least a week to get ready to release. Well, I will show you what he still may need to make jailbreak. Proper sandbox patches to get CDA fully working, patches to get mobile substrate working, offsets for anything but iPhone 5 10.3.3, it means for different 32-bit iPhone, iPad, iPods, which is running 10.3.3, also and fancy app. If he will make these things ready, then we can see jailbreak very soon. I hope you guys will not tease them by asking when ETA. So this was the short info about 10.3.3 32-bit jailbreak. As well, Abraham Masri is already working on 10.3.3 jailbreak. He has also successfully jailbroken iOS 11.1.2. Well guys, I think it's enough for today. Let's see what will happen in next week. Stay tuned for upcoming jailbreak updates. Thanks for watching. Peace out.